Hello, hi everyone. This is Dr. Sana Khan, your biology expert, and you are watching our app that is Insta Prep. So, in this video, we are going to talk about the cells of acquired immunity. So, we have already covered in detail about innate and acquired immunity, and in this video, we are going to talk about the cells of acquired immunity, right? So, in the first video, I had just given you a hint about the cells of acquired immunity. Do you remember that? Do you remember? I think you must have not watched that video also. So please go to the video number one of this chapter and do watch it because each and every video are linked together. Okay, so if you see each and every video in line, you'll be able to understand the entire chapter thoroughly. Okay, so cells of acquired immunity, let us talk on that, about that. So cells of acquired or specific immune systems are of two major group they are of what they are of two major group the first one is called as lymphocyte the first one is called as what lymphocyte and the second one is called as antigen presenting cell what are they called antigen presenting cell so there are two major groups of immune system cells that is lymphocyte and antigen presenting cell. So first we are going to talk about lymphocytes in detail. So lymphocytes, so these are the chief cells of our immune system. These are what? These are the chief cells means the most, 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 most important cells of our immune system. And they are the type of agranulocytes. Do you know that WBCs are divided into two? That is granulocytes and agranulocytes, right? Granulocytes are the one which have granules. Agranulocytes are the one which do not have granules. So agranulocytes may you have two. That is lymphocytes and monocytes. And in granulocytes, you have neutrophil, eosinophil and basophil. Okay, so lymphocyte is a type of a granulocyte WBC. Now, how many lymphocytes would a healthy person possess? Let us see that. A healthy person usually possesses around trillions of lymphocytes. How many? Trillions of lymphocytes. And there are two major types of lymphocytes. That is T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. What are the two major types of lymphocyte? T lymphocyte and B lymphocyte. So can you tell me what does that T means? Can you tell me what does that B means? T cells, B cells. It is related to your body. Think it is related to your body. Okay, I'll tell you, many of you must have got it also and you might be telling by watching the video that ma'am, T lymphocyte mein T stands for thymus and B lymphocytes mein B stands for bone marrow. So if you have got it, very good. And if you have, if you have not got the answer, it's okay. I've told you the answer. Now you can remember it, right? So lymphocytes, first of all, they are produced from stem cells. They are produced from what? They are produced from stem cells. Now, what are stem cells? Stem cells are undifferentiated cells. Okay, these are the undifferentiated cells which can divide and differentiate into any other specialized type of cells. So, these are the cells which form different types of our body cells. Maybe they will form a nerve cell or they may form a liver cell or they may form a blood cell, cardiac cell. They can form any type of cells, okay? So that is why you must have heard about the stem cell therapy, no? Where we can store these stem cells from the umbilical cord of a baby and it can be used during later period of life if he, gets, if he or she gets infected with a particular disease. So lymphocytes are produced from, lymphocytes are produced from stem cells, okay? So now, in bone marrow, in bone marrow, by a process called as hematopoiesis. What is it called? Hematopoiesis. So lymphocytes are produced from stem cells. Stem cells are produced where? Inside the bone marrow. Hadio ke andar. Okay. Inside the bone marrow and the formation of these WBCs are called as hematopoiesis. What is it called? Hematopoiesis. Hemato means blood. And poiesis means 
formation. So these are formed by a process called as hematopoiesis. That is formation of blood cells. Okay. So and these are able to, uh, you know, form any other type of cell like blood cells, WBCs, different types of WBCs, liver cell, nerve cell, any cell. They can form any other different type of cell of our body. Okay. So now what happens? Now, what happens with the lymphocytes which are produced inside the bone marrow? See, the first of all, lymphocytes are produced from your stem cell, right? So in stem cells, these immature lymphocytes, they divide and mature in bone marrow itself, okay? So they will divide over there. They will mature over there, where inside the bone marrow itself. So if they are dividing and maturing in the bone marrow, they are called as B lymphocytes. What are they called? They are called as B lymphocytes. So that is why B stands for bone marrow. B, okay, B, uh, B stands for your bone marrow. That is, these are the lymphocytes which are developing and maturing inside the bone marrow itself. But what happens? Certain immature lymphocytes go to thymus gland and they get destined to become thymocytes thymocytes are the cells of your thymus gland see so they will reach to your thymus gland via blood and they will mature over there so if they are maturing over there they are called as t lymphocytes what are they called t lymphocytes so if they are maturing in the bone marrow they are called as b lymphocyte and if they are maturing in the uh, thymus gland they are called as t lymphocytes okay now this mature lymphocytes, when they circulate in body fluids, that is your blood and lymph, or they will either reside in the lymphoid organ, that is your lymph nodes, or spleen, or pairs, patches of intestine. So these lymphocytes, whenever they get matured, either B or T, they will either circulate in the blood, or they will get destined to the uh, tissues like pairs, patches, lymph nodes, and spleen. Okay? So that now we have to talk about the action of T lymphocyte. Now we are clear what are the lymphocytes, what are the cells of acquired immunity, that is lymphocytes and antigen presenting cells. We are also clear with the types of lymphocytes, that is T lymphocytes and B lymphocytes. Now we have to talk about their action. So first let us talk about the action of T lymphocytes. So see, this is T lymphocyte. Okay, so this is a cell which you can see on the screen is a T lymphocyte. Now understand this very nicely. Listen carefully. What has come over here? The red cell. What is that red cell? It is an antigen. So as soon as the antigen comes inside the body, the T lymphocytes get sensitized. It is active. Okay. So as soon as the antigen comes in the, inside the body, the T lymphocyte gets active. It gets sensitized and it forms clone of T cells. It forms what? It forms clone of T cells. See, and how many T cells, how many clones are produced? Four clones. Let us understand the names of all the four clones of T cells. But first of all, what do you mean by the word clone? Clone means similar, look like structure wise they are similar, but function wise they are different so as soon as the antigen is coming inside t lymphocyte is getting sensitized it's just producing four types of clone cells the first one is called as t helper cells what is it called t helper cell second is called as killer t cell third is called as suppressor t cell and the fourth one is called as memory t cells is it clear so there are four types of lymphocyte helper t cell killer t cell suppressor T cell and memory T cells. So as soon as the antigen has come in, these four clones of cells have been produced. Now let us talk about the first one. How does it act? That is helper T cells. So as soon as helper T cells come inside, the uh, helper, as soon as antigen comes inside, the helper T cells get sensitized and it produces lymphokines and Thus, it helps in the proliferation of other T cells. It also helps in the stimulation of other B lymphocytes and it also attracts 
macrophages is it clear so helper t cell will become active once the antigen comes inside it will produce what it will produce lymphokines lymphokines will do what it will proliferate the other t cells matlab it will divide the other t cells it will stimulate b lymphocyte ki come on antigen has come inside we have to be active we have to fight against that in, in, uh, infection so it will stimulate the b lymphocyte and it will also attract the macrophages which are irregularly large cells and which are going to perform phagocytosis is it clear so are you clear with the concept of helper t cell okay now coming to the next one that is killer t cell so now what does the killer t cell do killer t cell directly attack direct attack hoga and it will destroy the invading microorganism or it will also destroy the cell of our body which has been infected with that pathogen or it will either destroy your cancer cell so naam se hi it is clear it's a killer it's directly going to kill the pathogens infected body cells and cancer cells okay so that is about your killer cells now coming to the next part so this killer cell what do they do they also produce certain substances called as perforins what are they called perforins and these perforins produce hole it produces what it produces hole in the infected body cell can you see so this is a mechanism how the killer t cell is destroying the infected body cell so it's producing the holes in the infected body cells and it also release certain killing substance that is why it is called as cytotoxic t cells okay so killer t cell produces hole okay and secrete perforin that is why they are also called as cytotoxic t cells okay so that is the mechanism of your killer t cell next one is your suppressor t cell so suppressor t cell is going to do what it is going to suppress the immune system so that it prevents the attack of our own body cell because our own body cells get destroyed then we get a disease i had asked you in one of the video right and what is that disease called as when our bo own body cells starts getting destroyed autoimmune diseases okay so those diseases are called as autoimmune diseases and the last one is your memory t cells which will get sensitized and it will retain the memory for future so that if any antigen is coming inside it's going to react fast okay it's going to produce what are say anti bodies okay so helper t cell killer t cell suppressor t cell and memory t cell so helper t cell produces lymphokinins killer t cell produces uh, perforins okay and suppressor t cell suppress our system so that it doesn't attack our own body cell and memory t cell will restore the memory for future attack is it clear so that these are the four types of t lymphocytes okay and as here the immunity is provided by the four different types of cells we call them as uh, they are giving us a cell mediated immunity what do we call it as cell mediated immunity very very important mcq what is cell mediated immunity it is an immunity which is provided by these t lymphocytes by these cells okay so that is all about your t lymphocyte now coming to the next part that is b lymphocyte now b lymphocyte does what b lymphocyte will get activated first when the antigen is coming can you see the antigen is coming the arrow mark it is getting sensitized second helper t cell humne padha tha na in the helper t cell that it is stimulating the b lymphocyte yes or no so it will get synthesized sensitized by two things antigen helper t cell and it will activate it will start getting activated and it will multiply very fast and again produce clone so even b lymphocyte is producing clone like your t lymphocyte so b lymphocyte will also produce the clone that is plasma b cell and memory b cell so here there are only two clones okay plasma b cell and memory b cell okay so now what does the plasma b cells produce plasma b cells produced specialized glycoprotein that is antibodies which are passed through your body fluids like blood and lymph so these plasma b cells produce antibodies which gets passed matlab which floats which circulates inside your body fluids see lymph and blood so that is why we say that this type of immunity is called as 
humoral immunity what is it called humoral immunity so humoral immunity is provided by plasma b cells by producing antibody so don't get confused between cell mediated immunity and plasma and humoral immunity okay so humoral immunity is by, by the antibodies and cell mediated immunity is by your t lymphocyte okay so usually our body produce around 2000 of antibodies per second so much of antibodies obviously so much of infection and pathogens goes inside your our body that it requires that much amount of antibody and antibodies are also known as immunoglobulins what are they called they are called as immunoglobulins and this immunoglobulins are of five class they are of high, how many types they are of five class that is itg iga ige igm and igd out of which iga is present in colostrum this is an important mcq which antibody is present in colostrum it is iga okay so that's all about the antibodies and when these antibodies are circulating inside the blood and lymph what they will do they will either attach to the cell membrane or they will remain free so if they remain free they perform three functions that is agglutination opsonization neutralization we'll be talking about these three uh, functions when we'll be talking about the structure of antibody here we are not going to talk about it because we are just discussing about the cells of immune system okay so antibodies when they are circulating they will either attach to the cell membrane or they will remain free and they will perform three functions that is agglutination opsonization and neutralization which will be explained in the subsequent videos okay so this is the differentiation between t and b lymphocytes okay t thymus b bone marrow t get sensitized by antigen b get sensitized by antigen helper t cell Uh, t will produce four clones b will produce two clones and t is going to give you cell mediated immunity and b is going to give you humoral immunity okay so this can even be asked for your board exams now let us come to the last one that is antigen presenting cells so antigen presenting cells are the specialized cells okay these are what these are specialized cells which help the Uh, alpha t cells to get activated so these are the specialized cells which helps in activating the helper t cells so they see this is the pathogen can you see pathogen is having an identification markers on it right those are the antigens which are present on the pathogen and this is our antigen presenting cell so now what happens see the antigen presenting cells binds with this pathogen correct it binds with this pathogen and it engulfs the pathogen and after that engulfing it processes the antigen see so it is processing the antigen and now the antigen comes on the surface of the antigen presenting cell so it comes on the surface of the antigen presenting cell that is why it is called as antigen presenting cells okay so and it gives a signal as soon as the antigen comes on these antigen pre presenting cells it gives a signal that now i need a help come on helper t cell help me out the infection has come in antigen has come in we need to fight against it so it it there so this antigen presenting cell is very very important for activation of your helper t cell and then the process starts helper t cell get activated produces clone and uh, like helper killer site or all those things like which we talked about in the initial part starts is it clear okay so let us see the few examples of antigen presenting cells so these are nothing but the macrophages so blood macrophages may you have monocyte tissue macrophages may you have histiocytes okay so that's all about your cells of your immune systems okay so few more examples that is dendritic cells of your skin c which are called as langerhans cells of epidermis of skin so these are nothing but the langerhans cells of epidermis of the skin so these are the summary of the examples of antigen presenting cell that is macrophages when you have monocyte histiocytes and then you have b lymphocytes and then you have a dendritic cell okay i know this was a little bit of longer video but it was needed to be put it together so that 
you understand about the examples of antigen presenting cells now you might be thinking ki ncrt doesn't talk so much about the cells of immune system but yes when it comes to your neat mcqs they usually ask you from this part because i told you ncrt is not only about reading it is all about understanding the concept in detail because they are they are going to ask you questions based on the concept okay so this is what i want to talk to i want to talk regarding the topic of cells of immune system that is your t lymphocytes that is first lymphocytes and antigen presenting cell t mein then we talked about b and uh, t lymphocyte matlab lymphocytes mein we talked about t and b lymphocyte and the second one was your antigen presenting cell and that's all about the cells of immune system okay so here we cover up the cells of immune system and in the subsequent video there is only a small part which is remaining related to immunity that is anti antibodies anti antibody uh, complexes where we are going to talk about that three opsonization and neutralization which i told you that it will come in the subsequent video so it's going to come in the next video okay so till then bye take care study hard and work for your dreams bye